I'm Haven. Welcome to The Little Gymnast Who Could. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a pullover. But first, I have to put my hair in a ponytail. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm chalking up my hands. Chalk isn't necessary, but it does help you with your grip when you're on the walk. Now to the pullover. Personally, I like the overhand grip, but a lot of people prefer underhand, so you should do what's easiest for you. Obviously, it's important to know how to do it, but you also need to have the muscle. You use your arm muscles to pull yourself up, and your abs and legs to pull yourself up and over. Okay, now to the pullover. You want to start with your strong leg behind you. Then you are going to kick without taking any more steps, and your weak leg will follow your strong one up. This is the time you want to have your chin about an inch above the bar. You never want to drop your chin fully. You always want it close to the bar. You also want to be spotting your knee because if your head's back, that will not be good for your pullover. When you're in this position where the bar is just over your kneecaps, you need to pull up to your hips. Some people stop looking at their knees and stop using their muscles in this position, which causes their head to go down which means their pullover failed. So what you need to do, when you're at your hips, you need to pipe and stay looking at your knees. And then you can keep trying until you push up. The reason why people stop using their muscle when they're here is because they think getting up and over the bar is super easy. But it really isn't. It takes a lot of muscle to keep your legs piped and for you to look at your knees while you're throwing them up and over the bar. Here's another slow motion video of your completed pullover. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I really hope this helps you with your pullover. Remember, believe to achieve.